We have a shooting in Chicago. No big surprise there over the weekend, but this happened in broad daylight. Um, a Jewish Orthodox man, 39 years old, was shot on route to the synagogue that he was headed to. Now, there had been reports saying that the shooter was hollering Allah Akbar um, when he came up behind the guy and shot him in the shoulder. The victim was 39 years old. The suspect is 23 years old. Well, this incident took place around 9.35 a.m. Broad daylight, people. On Saturday morning in 2600 block of North West Nau Avenue, uh, a neighborhood home to many Orthodox Jewish families. A 39-year-old man was walking in the area when an armed suspect approached him from behind and fired multiple shots, striking him in the shoulder, Chicago Police Department said. This guy is lucky to be alive. Neighbors said the man was going to his synagogue prior to the shooting. Officers responded to the scene around 9.55 a.m. The suspect reemerged from an alley and started firing shots at police and first responders, Chicago Police Department said. And an ambulance was also struck by gunfire. So they arrive on the scene. This guy comes out of an alley? So I don't know how many police officers arrived on the scene, but you would think that they would start, let's uh, scan the perimeter and make sure it's safe. I, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, the suspect continued shooting at officers from various locations over about a two and a half minutes, according to police. After reaching the 6800 block of North Wenstall Avenue, officers shot the suspect multiple times. So this guy is shooting him from various locations and from the alley? What? Like... What's he hiding behind a dumpster, shoot, run somewhere else? Um, and the police officers are firing back at him. It's just crazy. The guy is completely deranged. And apparently he's 23 years old. Wow. Police rendered aid to the suspect and recovered the gun that was used in the shooting. The suspect was then taken to St. Francis Hospital as in critical condition. Authorities said the 39-year-old victim was treated at the hospital and has been released. Man, this guy is lucky to be alive. No injuries to the officers were reported. The crime scene was taped off for nine hours as police and first responders canvassed the area. The officers involved in the shooting were placed on routine administrative duties for at least 30 days as part of, of a department protocol, according to the Chicago Police Department. The Civilian Officer of Police Accountability, COPA, is investigating, and anyone with more information is asking, to, is, uh, they're asking for you to call COPA at 312-746-3609. Well, they don't know if it's a hate crime or not. They're still investigating it. Uh, like I said at the beginning, there was reports of him hollering Allah Akbar. If that is true, then it is. He was targeted because he is Jewish. There's some craziness going on, people, in this country. Of, of and, and the guy's 23 years old. The suspect. He's, he's young. I, I don't know what his nationality, nobody, I haven't seen yet, you know, what he is, you know, as far as uh, if he's even an American. I, I don't know. All I know is he's 23 years old. He's in critical condition. He's at San Francisco Hospital. Uh, and he, you know, I don't know. But. With what's going on in, in, in the country with with the, the Palestinian and the Hamas and Hezbollah and all of this mess, you have some young people in this country who are just taking it too far. I mean, you could pick a side, I guess, do what you want. But for Pete's sake, why, why would you want to shoot somebody who, you know, he's just an innocent guy.
going going to the synagogue Saturday morning. It, it's unbelievable. Let's take a look at this uh, news from Chicago. Three months ago, hey, three months that is gunfire a shootout on the north side copa is investigating a police involved shooting after officers exchange shots with a suspect wgn's andrea medina is live with our top story Hi, Jackie. CPD has not revealed what led to the shooting, which remains under investigation, but police detailed the chaotic series of events in that included a shootout during broad daylight. Troubling, mm. of course, um, but um, I don't know. It's a heck of a scene. Until sunset, investigators were near Pratt Boulevard and Washtenaw Avenue in Westridge, gathering evidence after an officer-involved shooting unfolded Saturday morning. We could hear a number of shots fired, uh, and then at one point out our window, um, I saw somebody who appeared to be a victim running away, uh, and somebody running in the opposite direction. Um, sounds like that person might have been the perpetrator. This neighbor who asked to remain anonymous described the site as unsettling. According to CPD, at around 9.35 in the morning, a 39-year-old man was walking near the 2600 block of Farwell when a 23-year-old male suspect came from behind and shot him in the shoulder. The victim is expected to be okay. When responding officers arrived, police say about 20 minutes later, that same suspect came out of an alley and opened fire on both officers and paramedics medics hitting an ambulance. Uh, we heard a lot more shots and wow. things happening. We moved to an interior room of the house and sort of got down low on the floor just in case any stray damage came our way. Over the course of two and a half minutes, police say the suspect would hide and reappear from various locations, exchanging gunfire with officers. The final encounter occurred in the 20 in the 6800 block of North Washtenaw, where the offender was shot multiple times by the officers. The officers recovered the gun from the offender and rendered aid. He was taken to St. Francis Hospital in critical condition. Yes, it definitely was a zero to a hundred moment. It's not something we're usually struggling with in this neighborhood. Although this typically quiet residential area was disrupted by gunfire, neighbors continue to believe it's still safe, but they express concern about the disturbing nature of such violence. But there shouldn't be a normal thing anywhere in the city, and unfortunately that isn't the case. Thankfully, no officers or paramedics were hurt. The Civilian Office of Police Accountability, or COPA for short, is investigating this incident. We're live outside the 20th District Police Station. Andrea Medina, WGN News. Living here in Westridge, tell us it's terrifying to learn what unfolded here today as police got into a shootout with that suspect. Officers spending about eight hours on scene here to investigate, and now that suspect is in the hospital. A chaotic sequence of events in West Ridge this morning as Chicago police say a 23 year old man walked up to a 39 year old man and shot him in the shoulder around 930 near West Farwell and North Rockwell. OK, now we got a shooter male wearing a safety vest. Officers and paramedics arrived as neighbors in the area immediately rendered aid to the 39 year old victim while the suspect ran away. That shows the good of the people in this neighborhood that they'll step in to help out other people. So this one thing that I like about this neighborhood. Then just 20 minutes later, Chicago police say the 23 year old suspect returned to the scene and started shooting at officers and paramedics. Over the next two and a half minutes, the offender emerged from various locations and then exchanged, exchanged shots with the officers. Officers shot the suspect several times and he was taken to a nearby hospital in critical condition. An ambulance was struck by gunfire during that shootout, but no paramedics or officers were hurt in the shooting. People living near this scene say acts of violence like this have become too common in their neighborhood. We like this neighborhood because it was uh, a, a nice residential neighborhood. We've noticed that just with any neighborhoods in Chicago, there's been more um, more of a crime element, more of a safety hazard with shootings and you know carjackings. Police tell us they're still investigating the motive behind this shooting. They tell us the 39 year old victim who was shot is expected to be OK. He was treated and released from a nearby hospital.
still, the news has not said that the guy was hollering out of Akbar. I, I let this other one play. I've been trying to find it. But nobody's saying anything, so I don't know how alleged that is. But I guess as they continue to do the investigation, and if the guy recovers and he says, yeah, whatever, it gives a reason why he did it. Or he just claims insanity. Who knows? But the guy's 23 years old. It, it's just, it's, it's crazy to me that... Uh, you know, here we are in 2024, and people are acting like this. This is if it's a hate crime, and they're going because of Hamas attacks Israel. Israel protects themselves, and we all know Hamas and Hezbollah hide in the in in schools and hospitals, and and they do this stuff. It's like a guerrilla warfare type of thing. They're difficult to get to, but Israel seems to be doing a fine job taking care of them. But they have a right to defend themselves. My, I stand by that. I just don't understand the hostility here in America towards American Jewish citizens. It's insane. It's insane.